All right, happy Tuesday morning. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick update of what I plan on doing this coming weekend. I know it's early in the week, but this is basically the only time I have here. I got a few minutes before I have to get back to work. Um, so I do need some help, maybe some suggestions. Um, I'm going to try to remove, uh, you can see these um, Corallomorph, Discomorph uh, type mushroom corals that have spread throughout my tank. And you can see them here on this particular uh, rock work that I've got. And I've battled these guys uh, about a month ago and I pulled off a lot. But the technique that I use is basically using a pick or um, a blade and going under there and try to pry them off the rock and then popping them off and then moving them over to a um, my frag tank uh, which then I, I can use them because I don't want to kill them. I, I, I don't mind giving them away to fellow reefers or uh, if anybody wants to buy a bunch of them, I'll sell them to them. But you can see here where my finger's showing, they're actually growing back. So they're kind of going into my dragon eyes, Zoas that I really like, and they're going into these dragon souls over here. Um, and they grow, I can see some over here, but I have this one on this side isolated on a rock. But if anybody knows a better way of doing this, because I think what I'm going to try to do is to pry them off and then cover it up with some crazy glue or some epoxy. Because I know from my experience now in this particular tank is that if I leave any remnant of the flesh or the foot uh, from some of these removals, like any of these that are in here, um, they will grow back like they have. So I want to remove those. Um, and this, of course, is uh, the first uh, priority of removal of, of pieces of, of uh, coral animals that I want to remove from my display. The second being these Kenya trees that have exploded. So I want to take those out. But I think the first thing I'm going to try to tackle are the um, these watermelon-style striped mushrooms. Also, if anybody wants some, let me know. I'm in the uh, South Orange County area, so like near Mission Viejo, Ladera Ranch. If you guys, you know, if anybody wants some, let me know. Um, I will happily give you some. So, um, yeah. But anyways, let me know in the comments below uh, about any tactics, techniques, or things that you've done. So in my experience, the only way to do this with these guys is actually to pop them off with a razor blade or some tweezers or to tear them off with like an actual pick that I've used, um, like a surgical pick. Uh, yeah, so if you got a better tactic, let me know um, in the comments below. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll do another update and kind of maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try to capture the process and kind of see if I can, I can show you what it's like. Um, because I don't want to do too much. That's the other thing, too, because they do release toxins. I have I have carbon. Um, I just refreshed this past weekend. I will refresh the carbon prior to doing this um, removal of, of these uh, animals. Um, yeah, so that's going to be a challenge. I got to see how that works. But I really do love this tank, and I, I got to really um, control the mushrooms. I really wish I did not introduce them. Um, if I had to give any advice about um, mushrooms is isolate them onto a particular rock work or balmy that's isolated um, with uh, sand so that you can easily take them out. Um, but putting them on your rock, rock work or letting them actually detach and kind of blow around your tank, not a good idea. They will spread. They will attach. They're very adaptable to different types of parameters, um, and they will overtake your uh, uh, tank very quickly and outcompete other corals. So, um, but if you want that look, I mean, it, they they look really cool. Like I've done that with Berarium, which is this uh, branching style of uh, green uh, star polyps. Um, in my other tank for my mandarin, I let that just grow because I think it looks awesome. I mean, it looks like those planted tanks that you see on, on the freshwater side of the hobby. Uh, and I love the way that that looks. So, yeah. So I think that's what I'm going to do this weekend. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any tips about removing mushrooms. 
and uh, I'll try to do another update. Um, and I'm definitely going to try to capture the, the process and techniques that I use so that maybe you guys can see what I do and let me know what I'm doing wrong and what I can do better the next time. Or if it might help you out, maybe what I'm doing is the only way to do it and um, is beneficial to you. So, all right, happy reefing.